guys, Nathan here, welcome back to a new series we're going to be starting today, and yeah, I'm pretty excited about doing this, it's a new player, no not a new player, a new team road to glory like we do every year, but we've changed it, so we're doing supplying stirs, we're doing the Copites, which is obviously Liverpool, and you know, I just decided to do it because it, Tottenham this year have literally, have, um, I, I don't really know. I think I'll complete it really quickly, and um, I can see both. Uh, and I can see both teams that I was contemplating doing getting lots of informs, which you know can usually delay the process. And uh, especially with Liverpool, I think that maybe the informs would be slightly more affordable. I uh, usually are. Like last year, for example, like um, I can't remember. I think Ericsson got an inform, and he just went to shut up by so much because. He was so expensive, but as long as Sturridge isn't getting him for, I think we'll be good. And also, I think also try to cover the the opposite of that. If no one gets in forms, I can still afford the squad because the most expensive player is one to watch Mane, which is like 160k, and he's gonna go down in price and uh, gradually because he doesn't really look like getting an in form anytime soon. Not because he's bad, because he hasn't. He just hasn't been scoring like too many goals. He's got one uh, yesterday against West Brom, but uh, other than that, he's just been. He hasn't got that many a game. Anyway, we're just buying stuff in the catalogue. I've actually haven't even changed the club name yet. Uh, we should really be doing that. I buy all the coin boost. I'm only like level seven, I think, on the catalogue, which isn't too, which isn't too like promising, really, is it? And um, yeah, we're going out. I actually got a Liga Portuguesa player, a Liga Portuguesa silver in a silver gift pack which I had and he's worth 1.8k and he sold straight away um, that's a, a lot, I've seen a lot of people discard them as well like just people who don't know what they're doing Any anyone from Liga Portuguesa who is silver, not necessarily bronze because um, some of, there's loads of them on the market but like uh, rare bronzes in outfield positions usually so and any silver who plays for one of the like uh, lesser known teams usually do usually sells for like at least 2k anyway we're going through here we're looking for some players we're gonna end up picking up uh, Mignolet, Clavan, Lucas and Ilori I think are the players we go for because they're the only like discard Liverpool players uh, this year there are literally four so I'm not looking too promising on the, on the non-rare front because uh, they are the only I think they are the only four non-rares as well um, they, the squad that we're going to end up building, like, the top player is Sturridge, uh, top non-informed player is Sturridge, uh, like, 50 or 60k. Then you've got Coutinho, who's, like, 55k. Then you've got, I think, Firmino, maybe, next after, just uh, just before uh, before 10k, I think he's, um, I think he's, like, 8, 8k, maybe. I'm going to buy him in the centre forward, anyway, when we get around to it, because we may need him for bit of a striker sort of player because the, when if we can't get storage uh, for a long time we're going to need a backup striker because there are only like what four um, no only three uh, on the game and we've we already signed the two in the next few episodes as well because Origi and Ings are not very expensive they're both discard and um, yeah I'm hoping I don't really have any strict goals for this series I just hope that we could get it uh, as soon as possible and maybe give away the team at the end. I'm not really too sure. I don't. I always seem to set the goal of winning Division One, and I never get there because I always complete the team before I get there. Uh, because just I focus on trading more than do actually playing games halfway through it. And um, yeah, if you're watching this and you watch the How to Fart series, um, I'm thinking of changing the format slightly and streaming it on Twitch, and then basically cutting it down into. A very, like, a still quite a long video but more of a live stream sort of thing maybe I'll cut out you know um, game highlights more so than like actual trading because I don't feel I feel like doing it live um, showing the trading live is more effective when you're doing it raw and unedited, raw and unedited rather than it is when I do it live in just a YouTube video because I don't really feel I have time to explain it properly and put it into action like um, I would on a live stream anyway that's just uh, a bit of thought I may try it once my I did that restart FC last last year for a bit and that seemed to go down pretty well 
I didn't really cut it out as much though because um, I w it was just intended to be a hundred percent live series. But I can always cut out games because I don't really I wouldn't really want to watch an entire game, particularly um, just rolling through. <laughs> I'd rather see just the highlights. I can always do that anyway. I'll try it maybe sometime uh, in next week because um, I got two normal videos coming out tomorrow. No, two normal videos to come of how to fur. One's the Foot Champions, which is really, really outdated. And I need to get out. The other one is a, a foot draft, I think. And um, yeah, we'll see how we do in that. I just decided to do a foot draft after I got the Foot Champions rewards. Um, I really do need to upload that because that is so outdated. And it's also such a pain in the ass to do as well because I can't show all the games. It's just impossible. I. I I don't know what to do and it's it just comes I just show the end result and show the odd few I think I only recorded like six in the end and um, it turned out to be a massive disaster disaster trying to play or 40 I ended up playing about 35 and when I went to my mum's house to play like the remaining 10 I disconnected from six of them and just gave up because it was like doing this weird laggy thing where if you've um, if you if you like watch a live video and you'll see the like it does that thing to catch up where it goes really fast like fast forward basically it was fast forwarding the game while I was still playing and just disconnecting it was really really weird uh, I didn't really know what was going on so I will definitely be trying to stick to le playing less foot champions um, or trying to focus on getting less mad when I play it because it's, like, it's basically impossible not to get angry when you play it for champions because I have so much is on the line um, you, you you need to get up to that next bracket and you lose a game it just really pisses you off in particular, it does it to me as well because I just get very angry in general at everything but um, I didn't qualify this week because I ran out of time anyway because uh, I can't remember I think I left it too late, way too late, and I was just like, I tried one qualifying on my main account and I lost in the final, I was like, I'm just going to get too angry at this, and I decided not to bother. Anyway, we're just sorting out the team here, we did, we opened, like, we completed a SBC to get the, um, get the, uh, old, the old, uh, managed tasks out of the way, that's it, managed task. Um, they've improved it this year, so you get loads of little rewards and then get a premium gold pack, uh, which we got nothing in, as usual. Uh, we're playing, uh, we've got like loads of uh, silvers and golds and bronzes in here now. Uh, Grudgich we put up, we picked up for only uh, like 200 coins I think it was. Um, and we also picked up uh, Gomez for the left back and Brannigan in midfield. They all look like decent players, Grudgich particularly for 6 of 3. Very balanced midfielder, I'm looking forward to using him. Uh, and here for the first goal I think this is of, uh, of the series maybe. Um, we whipped the ball in and late... Lucas gets in and it's actually given away as a um, I don't know what happened there to be honest I think I was supposed to show the goal I just think I fucked up anyway um, I can't remember the first goal it was actually a really nice goal from Danny Ings I remember let me get him a Grudgets again with a header from a corner um, yeah showing his six showing off his six for free height then he gives away a pathetic penalty which is no way, no way a penalty uh, he takes down Takes down Tarek Holmes Dennis, who was used to play for Oxford uh, on loan a few seasons back. He was a very good player, and um, I actually think we could do with him. Um, actually, I don't think so, to be honest. I think um, we got the left back covered pretty well now, but he was a good player when we had him. And uh, we scored the penalty just to make it 3 0. And then we're running on for Danny Ings here. He's so good in like lower level divisions because he's just too fast and fires it across the keeper. Um, just making it 4-0 and then this guy decided fuck that I'm not playing anymore and Danny Hings claims a hat trick and we claim 600 coins and three points the first three points in um, division 10 so we go out after that and immediately pick up some more players we pick up Kevin Stewart obviously got a massive upgrade from last year to a 72 rated CDM looks pretty good and we've got Connor Randall as well the right back because we needed a right back. He's really, really bad, uh, but he'll just help pick up the chemistry and just take another player off the list. I think I've got all the bronzes by the end of this episode as well. So that is um, that is shows how little little 
squad depth that we have in this game. So all the players are on loan. I was tempted to buy some of the loan players, but then they just don't get any links because like the Zar Markovic is in the uh, playing for Sporting Lisbon, and like, some of them are all over the world. And it's just a bit, bit. It would just not. It wasn't really a good idea. Anyway, Kevin Stewart scores there. A very weird goal, um, sort of just deflecting off the keeper. And here we get in again with Danny Ings. And I think he thought, you know, he dinks it back in just a bit cheekily. And it's just a bit, a bit aged to be honest. And then I think Brannigan scores um, to make it uh, three 0 in this one. Lay Lucas on the ball here, gives it into Holmes Dennis and Brannigan. Again, I don't know what his keeper's really doing to be honest. This game is just a bit of a just a bit of a mismatch to be honest. Holmes Dennis does score, and then we, we hold up the ball there with Ings and just play a nice ball over to Brannigan. And I think I may sweat this one, or do I just run for on goal and finesse it? I do run goal, run for on goal and finesse it. Five nil. Brannigan here on the ball again at Cam, playing it out wide. Nice, nice bit of quick passing. Gets the run on the ball to Ings. And Ings bears down on goal and finishes near post to make it 6-0. And I think that's when the game ended 6-0. Very, very good result. Uh, pretty happy about it, to be honest. Just as long as we can get through all these this Division 10, you know, without losing our... Except the loss in Division 9, because that's when people start to have good teams. Um, and it will probably be a, lot, a bit more difficult. We also pick up this guy, Trent Alexander-Arnold, I think his name was. I've never heard of him before, he doesn't even play for the first team and he's number 66 in the squad, so um, yeah, that's just a bit of a random fact. He's really high rated as well, but could be good out on the right hand side. I think we also pick up Shea Ojo as well, um, very good player, I rate him very highly. And we score a bang there with Kevin Stewart, kicking off the, kicking off the game, making it 1-0. This guy was fairly good for what team he had he was frustrating me on the ball i couldn't really get shots off in the box so i resorted to going outside results going into the box here tackling him and uh, kevin stewart gets another goal i think to make it two nil and i don't really know what's going on there we also have the ball here saved by the keeper he plays it out from the box gives it to lucas and lucas is going to pop, have a pop it goes straight into the top bins and the dab has to come on because it was a very really nice goal. Anyway, moving on to the second half here, we ran completely. Just the keeper gets completely fucked by Danny Ings, and Ings scores four 0 and it was sort of showing the difference in team quality over here with uh, with that one. And see, our two CDMs get joint man of the match because of their performances, and Team Greedo go down four 0 to the Copites. And to be honest. I needed more squad depth, so I decided to pick up all the bronzes I could. See this guy Maguire, we got help in him. Oh, we were too late, sorry, I was too busy trying to record it. And Williams we pick up, Masterson and Chirivella, I think his name is. All very low rated, but all will hopefully do a job at the back for us when we need them, because our players are running low uh, on fitness right now, especially at the back, because we've only got like two centre backs uh, who are actually Liverpool players. And Chiravella, we've got plenty of midfield depth to be honest, and um, he'll just come in and play a few games for us. This Masterson guy, um, 60 raid, is probably the best out of all of them, despite having only 58 pace. Anyway, going into the final game of the episode to win the title, we come against this team. He's got uh, Faguli, Burnett, and Giganak, the only two stand out, the only three stand out players, sorry, in the squad. and. It was again a very very simple game. Just go keep the ball, keep it moving, and eventually the opportunities would come. And Brannigan worked one straight away, straight from kickoff. Actually, that one went in. We worked it down the right, uh, down the left, right hand side of the pitch, and just put it into the centre. This one we sort of mess up a bit. We give it to Shea Yojo, and he finishes it bottom corner, easy peasy. Um, I thought he messed it up when the keeper came out, and I didn't actually bother tackling him. Uh, I didn't actually bother shooting. Sorry, too early. This time Ojo just drops all his defenders and just dinks it over the keeper's head to make it 3-0. He thought I was I was going to try and get close to goal and uh, I didn't. I'd fooled him. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's been a bit of a long video anyway. So I'll see you all for the next episode hopefully very soon.